Hello Ranger Point Precision friends and family, Pat here with a really quick video to explain the difference between a straight grip and a pistol grip stock. I've typed hundreds of emails and hundreds of DMs to you guys and sometimes it just seems like the guy still doesn't get it. So it's easier for me to make a video showing you the difference between a straight grip and a pistol grip stock. Because quite frankly, we have too many returns and we want you guys to get it right the first time. We want to kill the frustration of having to ship it back, be one without your parts for, you know, X amount of days while it's all in transit and stuff like that we just want you to just conveniently be able to put the correct part on the correct gun and do it right the first time so let's go and boom here we have two henry's now this is going to apply the same to a marlin as well so we have got a henry x model 4570 all of your x models are going to have a pistol grip pistol grip is defined by this curvature here. This is a Henry All Weather 3030 and it has got a straight grip. So the straight grip literally being as straight as a ruler. That's how you tell the difference. So now there are lots of guys that get this wrong and wind up having to have a return. Well, that means that you're without days without your stock and you have to pay the return shipping and all sorts of stuff. So we would prefer to, to make a video like this not to shame you, but to be a resource before you make your purchase. So now let's look at this. What if we do order the incorrect one? Well, let's remove our quick takedown screws. We've got a nitride and a stainless here. We'll set these off to the side. I like those because we don't have to use any tools. But let's go ahead and remove our pistol grip and our straight grip. Now I wanna show you this one first. So you see right here, our lower tang is just straight on the straight grip and our lower tang here has got a big curve. That is the trigger guard plate. So we have incorrectly ordered and installed our straight grip stock. See how you've got this unsightly, almost triangular shape. It just doesn't feel good to the hands. It doesn't look good. It's unfinished. It's not aesthetically pleasing. So now right here, we've got our straight grip. We're gonna put our pistol grip stock on here. So we've put our pistol grip stock on here. Now what we've effectively done is made a low rider because you know, a lot of your low riders, the, the rear tire is tucked in the fender. So we wind up with a reduced amount of lever. Now there are some people that say, that yes, you can swap a pistol grip stock as long as you swap it with a pistol grip lever. Yeah, that's possible. You could do that. But now what I just don't like about it, in my opinion, is you will just forever have this unfinished hole. That unfinished hole will be there to gather dirt and dust and other stuff like that. So with that being said, you could replace the trigger guard plate and wind up filling that hole in and maybe it wouldn't be so bad. That, In my eyes, that's the way to finish that conversion. So now let's go ahead and go back and put these on the correct gun. There we go, much better. I like that a lot better and you will too.